identify the number of stereoisomers expected. So the formula for the number of stereoisomers is 2 to the n, where n is the number of chiral carbons, also called stereocenters, also stereogenic carbons, there are many different names for them, that a molecule has. A chiral carbon is a carbon that is attached to four different groups. So let's go ahead and see how many chiral carbons each molecule has and how many stereoisomers we will expect. For this molecule, if I look at this carbon, I notice that it is, it is attached to an OH group, a methyl group on this side, this group to the right, and it's also attached to the hydrogen, which is not shown because every neutral carbon wants to have four bonds. So let's go ahead and show this hydrogen. So this carbon is a stereocenter, and I'm going to put a star next to it. Let's go ahead and look through all of them. For this carbon, it's attached to OH. It's also attached to hydrogen. And the left and the right side are also different. So this is a chiral carbon as well. And let's look at here at this carbon, chlorine, also attached to a hydrogen. And we have a methyl group on the right and this big group on the left. These are four different groups. So this molecule must have three chiral carbons, so three stereocenters, and the formula for the stereoisomers is 2 to the n, so in this case it would be 2 to the 3, which would be 8. Now, let's go ahead and look at this molecule. If we look at this carbon, we notice that it is attached to two methyl groups, so automatically this carbon is out because it has it does it cannot have four different groups. It has two of the same groups, two methyls. So this is out. This carbon is attached to OH. It's also attached to hydrogen, which was not shown. And then if I go up, then I see a carbon with two methyl groups. And if I go to the right, I see a carbon with OH. So going this way and this way is different. So this is a chiral center. Next, this carbon is attached to OH, also hydrogen that is not shown, and similarly to its partner here, it will be a chiral center as well. So we have two chiral centers, and again, my formula is 2 to the n, where n is the number of chiral centers, stereocenters, there are just many different weight and names for them. So 2 to the n is 4. This is the number of, this is the maximum number of stereoisomers that this molecule can have. However, notice that this molecule has a plane of symmetry right through the middle of this molecule. That means that one of the isomers will be a mesomolecule. And if you have a mesomolecule, it cannot have an enantiomer. So mesomolecules, if my molecule is capable of being meso, it will have less stereoisomers. So instead of four, actually let me, instead of four, this molecule will actually have three stereoisomers because when I would draw the enantiomer of one of the stereoisomers, it will be the same as, as um, that compound because I will have a meso isomer in this molecule. So instead of four stereoisomers, this molecule will actually have three.